Doctor Who, The Seeds of Death, Episode 2. Team met Moonbase Control. Phillips runs for the door. Sahara, stop him. The warrior fires too late. Phillips is off down off down the corridor. Sahara, hunt that man. He must not escape. The warrior leaves. Sahara, you allowed them to send a message back to Earth. For sure, they tricked me. I tried to stop them. Sahara, no matter. You he will be found and killed. Far ashore. What about me, Sahara? You uh, have you repaired the emergency team at Link? First sure. Not yet. It isn't easy, Sahara. But it's a possible. First, first sure. Sure. First him. Yes. Only. Yeah. Only give me time, Sahara. Very well. You know. You now know what will happen if you fail. You will die. Space Museum. Rindor. Daniel, don't didn't don't you see this goes far beyond a pretty petty quarrel over rockets and team mats. These men at Moonbase are in serious trouble. We must help them. El Ed Efred. You will have to, you will have to find some other way, Kelly. With the team mat dead, there's no other way. Your rocket is our only hope to re reach in the moon. Doctor Professor, listen to them. Efred, I am listening. Doctor, isn't this in this way in in a way this is a triumph for your rocket? Efred, it is. Randall, of course it is. The government recognizes the fact. Efred, then the government is going to be disappointed. Randall, I don't understand you. Efred, oh I better be frank with you. Randall, yes, I think you're better. Efred, I might I must admit I played with the idea of making a flight a base flight flight, I even paired a rocket. Kelly, well then? Everett, it was just a dream, an illusion for a disappointed man. Kelly, you mean there's nothing? Everett, oh, the rocket's there, parts, partially prepared. Rendell, good. Everett, as for an actual liftoff, Rendell, we can do it, Daniel. We can, I know we can. Everett, it, it takes more than enthusiasm to get a rocket off the ground. At Rendell, you have only to ask for what you want. Funds, men, equipment. Efred, I need, it needs the one thing that you have not got time. Kelly, a clash with your program. Your best available technicians. Efred, it's nowhere near ready, woman. Most of the equipment is still unchecked. Rendor, a computer can be programmed for that. And Efred, it would still be possibly, impossibly dangerous. Rendor, Daniel, it is you who created this rocket. It was your, it was your driving force and fused them that got us off the drawing board. With your, with you in control, we can't fail to succeed, Alfred. This, that was a long time past. Now my heart couldn't take the strain of the G-force. Cunny, that doesn't mean your, your experience and knowledge are useless. We need your guidance, Alfred. Now I told you it's a dream. I'll never go up, go to the moon. And neither can rocket a ZA. Six eight two five, Jamie. Could we not help them? We could use the TARDIS. Zoe, what? For a trip to the moon? Jamie, I. Zoe, we could probably overshoot. We would probably overshoot by a few, few million years. Dot, yes, and by a few million miles. I'm afraid the TARDIS is not suited for to short range travel. Zoe, shall? Still, I still, I think we should help them if we can. Jamie, I. Doctor, yes, I think I've got. Could get the rocket, your rocket to the moon. Efred, you? Do yes, I, I have considerable experience in time space travel. So, have my two companions. Vendor? Doctor, that's splendid, thank you. Efred, but the rocket is not ready, Doctor. Well, perhaps you overestimating its difficulties. How much more work is required on your rocket? Efred, it needs fueling and complete computerized checkup. Vendor, well, I could order that. Efred, no, I will not allow it. The risk is far too great. No. Rindor, it's there. If there was some other way, believe me, I wouldn't even consider such a risk. Efred, no. Kelly, there's always the outside chance that that fault in TMAC will clear itself. Computer, computer, commander, 
Render urgent. Render? Excuse me. Render? Render? Go ahead. Computer. T-Mac Reception. New York. Moscow. Tokyo. There's great concern over con- continued holdup. Medical shipments and food supplies awaiting transit to an anesthetic centers. Position desperate. Calcutta instructions awaited. Rendor, that's your answer. Doctor, well, we, we're willing to help, as I said. Everett, you don't know what you're doing. It's suicide. Rendor, listen. If this fault, la- fault lasts much longer, there's going to be worldwide chaos. The world population is at stake. Everett, infallible. t Matt, putting the world in jeopardy. Rendor, all right, I admit it. Everett. You know how you want this man to risk his life to get you out of trouble? Rendo, not, no, not me, but thousands of the people all over the world would die if they don't risk to take this risk. I'm sorry, but I've got no alternative, Miss Kelly. Kelly, sir? Rendo, I want all technical personnel working on this. I want that rocket prepared for launching. Kelly, yes, Commander. Kelly leaves. Rendo, we're grateful for your help. Efred, if that can, rocket is going to reach the moon safely, you need more than help. You need a miracle. Moonbase corridor. The warrior, ice warrior, meets up with another one at the junction. Warrior continues the search. Continues search. We must not escape. Phillips is hiding in the machinery at a solar energy storeroom. A warrior enters, looks around, and fails to see him, and leaves. When the corridor is clear again, Phillips closes the door and takes a solar amplifier out of its box. Space museum. Everyone is writing on clipboards. Kelly, Commander, Rendor. Yes, Miss Kelly. Kelly, do you think it's wise letting these people crew the rocket? Rendell, wise? No, of course it's not wise. But what's the alternative? We gave, we give up, we gave up training astronauts years ago. Kelly, but who are they? Rendell, some of Ed, Ed for Ed's crazy friends, I imagine. But a man who calls himself a doctor certainly knows his space travel. Rend, Kelly, how can you be sure? Rendell, well, you wanted it, you wanted a briefing, but he and the girl know more about spaceflight than Efrid. Kelly, what about the boy? Rendor, yes, I'm not sure about him, Doctor. Doctor, yes? Rendor, tell me, are all three of you planning to crew this rocket? Jamie, I, I can be useful too, you know. Doctor, J- Doctor Jamie, I haven't thought about you. Jamie, hi. Hey, you're not leaving me behind, that's final. Everett, there can be no excess weight on this trip. Jamie, well, how many... Much, how much long, many, is rocket thing hold? Efred, well, it's designed for three man crew. Jimmy, ah, well, then I'm going. Kelly, Commander, Randall, yes, for Miss. Kelly, the chemical fuel is at reserve stocks at launching site, barely adequate for moon journey and return. Randall, what about the other resources to supply? Kelly, you walk to Mexico, transit possible, impossible due to tree mat foul function. Doctor, but surely it's only a question of getting to the moon. We shall get come back by T-Mat, won't we? Rendor, possibly. Depends with what's wrong with it. Referred, that's, there is another source of supply. Rendor, one what? Oh, what's that? Efered, the funeral dump on the moon. It's refueling system connected to food at the loading bay. Rendor, but surely that equipment has been used for years, Efered. Neither has a radio, a homing tank beam. And if it doesn't work... You never make a landing at all. Jamie, oh, in that case, we won't worry about getting back. Everett, well, uh, all the equipment being completely not automated and solar power designed all myself. No reason why it shouldn't work, Doctor, I'm sure it will. Everett, are you sure you remember all that I told you in the, brief, in the briefing? Doctor, yes, even if I don't, Zoe has total recall. Everett, well, just in case, I've written it all down here. Tutter, there's no need, we. Everett, and here there's a map of Moonbase, too. Now you know how to operate the, ho- the homing beam. Now you know how to operate the homing beam, Doctor. You don't know. Now don't worry about that thing. Your rocket is going to be in. Go, is going to be in good hands, Jamie. Amen, Doctor. It's quite enough, Jamie. Everett, you remember? You've only got enough food and water for three days, Doctor. Yes. Be well we've taken conversation carries and in his background. Kelly, Commander? Rendor, yes, Miss Kelly. Kelly, I think I should go go as crew on the rocket. Rendor, don't be ridiculous, you're too valuable here. Kelly, but how can I T Map be prepared if I'm not there? Rendor what Rendor, well, 
What about the other technicians already there? Caddy, Osgood's dead. Rendell, yes. Well, what about Fersham? Phillips. Caddy, oh, he's incapable of repairing. I think I should go. Rendell, no. Anyone who really understands TMAT, I can't have you risking your life. Caddy, you know you're perfectly prepared to allow... And Kelly, and yet you're perfectly prepared to allow them to risk theirs. Don't, don't worry, Miss Kelly. We're going to be perfectly all right. Kelly, but how can you be sure? Don't even know what troubles is up there. Team at control. Fersham is still working on the control panel. Two warriors stand guard. Safara. The emergency link with Earth is already is at ready yet? Fersh, Fersham. I'm not. I'm nearly finished at Salara. Do not make any mistake, Fersham. I'm do not. I'm not an exer, Salara. But you will do it, Fersham. Yes. I don't see what good that emergency link can be. Even if a giant, if he had a giant army of warriors, you couldn't send them to conquer Earth. Sahara, we do not need an army. Earth would be ours for taking very soon. In a solar energy storeroom, Phillips looks around for something that finds the, uh, an infrared lamp. He plugs it into the solar amplifier, hunts for the solar power line. It's hidden behind some old, old canisters. Rocket, infrared on monitor. Ignition reserve power. Zoe, fully charged. Kelly, on monitor. Internal atmosphere settings. Dots all normal. Infrared in monitor. Trajectory bearings global auto lock. Zoe, preset registering normal functions. Mission control, a few tables, microphones in the room. A museum. Kelly, lift off observation. Check complete. All readings rain alpha green. Rendell, well done. In a record time and not a lot, lo- ta- not a thing wrong. Ever read so far. Rendell, doctor? Doctor, yes. Rendell, fire. Final check or procedure after you land. Dada, oh yes, I know. We're to reestablish the video link with the Earth. Rendor, that's right. When we see what's wrong, we can do, we, you can do the rest under Mr. Kelly's supervision. Doctor, you're ready when you are. Kelly, link program to telling me to guidance. Kelly, three minutes countdown will begin T minus 60 seconds. Rendor, this is it. ZA65 Six eight five stands alone on its launch pad. No gantry, no feeder lines, nothing. Kelly, all functions on computer controlled preset. Clear launching site. Rocket, the crew capsules is suitable. Recramped. Zoe, three minutes seems to be an awful long time. Dot, yes, you remember. You'll take off. You'll take off briefly, Jamie. Jamie, I. He told me all about that. This G force. Now I know. Zoe, you don't know about it until you've experienced it. Jamie, look, Zoe, I have been, have you know, the doctor and I have, Kelly, T minus 60 seconds from now. Doctor, there's one minute to go. Now hold on tight, everyone. Zoe, well, I'm all right, doctor. How about you, Jamie? Jamie's scared. Look, I'll keep telling you I'm fine. Kelly, T minus 50. Mission control, Everett. Make sure telemeter guidance is operative. Rendell, don't worry. Everything's being checked and rechecked. Kelly, T minus 40. Technicians report. Brent, all areas clear. Ethered. Check all systems. Kelly, we have. Ethered. You must make sure. Kelly, T minus 30. 26. Rocket. Kelly, 22, 18, 14, 12, 10. Mission control. Kelly, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Okay, footage of the Saturn V heading to the atmosphere. Render, render. I never thought I'd see that again. A rocket rising in flight. Effort, beautiful. Let's see how they are. The link is dead. Kelly, what? Something must have got, gone wrong on, on liftoff. Rendor, try the shadow channel. Kelly, nothing. Rendor, do you mean to say we're out of touch completely? Efred, what about the radio link? Kelly, earth control to r- rocket. Do you read me? Over. Efred, nothing but static. Rendor, it's only a minor fault, surely. 
Rocket, weightless, but still strapped to the seats that Kelly. Earth control to rocket. How do you read me? Earth control to rocket. Kelly, don't release your safety straps until I switch over to automatic gravity control. Otherwise, you'll float away. Kelly, earth control to rocket. Can you read me? Say, oh, wait a minute. Switch into automatic gravity control now. Mission control. Effort, try again. Kelly, earth control to rocket. Zoe, rocket to earth control. Wait a minute, can't you? We've only, we've only just recovered from takeoff, Efred. Is everything all right? We seem to have lost all our monitor link. Doctor, yes, I think there must be a fault in one of the, uh, one of the circuits, Efred. Doctor, Doctor. Rocket. Monk is coming from the panel. Do- Zoe, what is it, Doctor? Well, one of the circuits has burnt out, Zoe. I switched, I switched to the secondary one. Jamie, oh no. This is worse than the TARDIS. Mission control. Everett, do you read me, Doctor? Kelly, sounds as though the entire communication circuitry had blown out. Everett, yes, let's hope that's all that's happened. Raindor. Eat try, Miss Kelly. Team at Moonbase Control. First them, it's done. Emergency link will be will work now. Sahara. Excellent, first them. What are you going to do? Sahara, do not ask questions. Activate the link on receiver only. First them, receive. But ain't, ain't you going to send anybody? So, Salah, Salah, Salah. Activate the link on, rec- on receive at once. Mission control, Kelly, and you've double checked everything? Brent, on monitor, yes, the fault is definitely in the moon base. Render, it's possible for you to affect the repairs over video? Kelly provided the fault is not too major. Everett, and provided they actually get there in the rocket. Render, there, Get there. Everett, why? How do you know? You don't even, you, you can't even be sure the rocket's still in one piece. Brent on monitor. Miss Kelly? Kelly, what is it, Brent? Kelly, Brent on monitor. We've got through the emergency. T-Link on moon, to moon control is activating. Kelly, is someone coming through? Brent on monitor. No, it's on the sand. Kelly Moon Base must have managed to make a temporary repair. Rindo, it seems odd. Kelly, that's all we ne- you need, Brent. We have a full emergency kit waiting. I'll join you as soon as possible. Brent on monitor. Yes, Miss Kelly. Crew are on standby. Rindo, where do you think you're going, Kelly? Well, we can't, if we can send, send, is there only one thing I can, can do? Rindo, you have no idea what conditions are like up there. Kelly, I know all too well what they would like, like down there here. And it's my job to put things right. Rendor, Miss Kelly, you cannot assume the responsibility without authorization. Kelly, Commander, you stop me by once, by me once, but don't try again. Otherwise, I shall have to go above your head. Kelly leaves. For red, see, after she's after your job, Julian. Everett, Rendor, yes, Miss Miss Kelly, she's a fool. If we lose her, nothing can save us. Team at my own base control on the sto- in the storeroom. P- Phillips is on. Has got three infrared lights set up, pointed in the middle of the room, and plugged into the M fire. He plugs it into the solar power line. Meanwhile, in the main control room, Fenshaw Shum. Staring at a T-Met cubicle, and waiting. Kelly and the two technicians appear. Fersham, thank heavens you come. Kelly, what happened, Fersham? Osgood, it must have been space madness. He went berserk, raving mad. It's terrifying. Kelly, Osgood, but he'd be the last man I would have thought to have. Thought, Fersham, so did we. Kelly, where are the others? Fersham, where well, Oswald fused the controls. Lockie tried to stop him. First gold killed him. Fersham? Kelly, this is fantastic. What about Philip, Philip, Phillips? Fersham, well, he was injured too. I got him under station. Kelly, and you? Fersham, there's nothing wrong with me. Kelly, you look frightened. Fersham, if you'd seen Osgood die, wouldn't you be? Kelly, well, how, how did he die? First from his body outside. He went past, he just went out. Kelly, without a pressure suit? I see. Open all control sections and computer links. First from, what are you doing? First from, I thought, I thought, 
best switch off the emergency link. Well, all the while the trouble we've got, it could easily burn itself out. Out of sight of the humans, Sailor Sahara, gives his warriors the usual order. Sahara, the other human, is still free. Behind him, he must not interfere with our plans. Solar energy power, and uh, solar energy storage room. Philip Filts is under, has found the transmitter unit and unplugs the infrared array to power it. Phillips, hello, Earth Control, this is Moon Base, emergency, emergency, how do you read me? Hello, Earth Control, this is Moon Base, emergency, can you hear me? Phillips takes the back off the transmitter unit. Rocket. Zoe, it's no use, no contact at all. Every circuit's dead, Doctor. Oh dear, this is most unfortunate. Zoe, I well, don't try them. Why don't you try them anyway? Again, it may blow the whole rocket up next time. Zoe, well, there's there's no use worrying about the radio now. We're nearly at the end of the journey, Doctor. Yes. Well, I hope we would we could stay in contact with the Earth. Zoe, we don't need them. All we have to do is activate the moon home advice. I mean, the, the beam, Jamie. Well, how do you do that? I thought we weren't in contact with anyone in, on the moon. Sorry, well, it's quite simple, Jamie. It's an automatic device. We send our code for radio signal, which, which triggers the homing beacon. Direction. We automatically lock it onto it until we reach this point of orbit where the fire, it fires retro rockets to land. Jamie, ah, but if they've been cut off, how can they re- they activate, Doctor? It works uh, for different power sources, Jamie. Solar power depend on the. It's independent team system, uh, Jamie. I I just hope it works. That's all. Very well. If it doesn't, we're going to have trouble looking at the moon control airlock. Ducking the. We're going to have trouble ducking the moon control airlock. It could be quite a crash, Jamie. What? Doctor, well, let's try, sh- shall we? I think we we are near enough. There, that's our activating signal. Sorry, there, there, it's it. That's it. As long as that note is steady, we're at home and dry, no trouble at all. Solar energy storeroom. A hunting, homing beam light is lit up on, on the wall. Phillips, uh, hello, Earth Control. This is Moon Base for emergency, emergency. Can you hear me? Uh, hello, Earth Control. This is Moon Base Emergency. Emergency, can you hear me? A warrior in the corridor. Here's Phillips. Raise his voice. Phillips, hello, Earth Control. This is Moon Base Emergency. Can you hear me? Hello, Earth Control. It's a Moon Base. Can you hear me? Doctor enter. The warrior enters. Phillips. Hello, Earth Control. Phillips hears a warrior behind him and quickly swaps the transmitter power. For the infrared ray, array, the room is filled with the light, and when Felix switches it off again, the light wheel is just a pretty dirty patch on the floor. Felix plugs the transmitter back in. Felix, hello, Earth Control, this is Moonbath. Earth Control, emergency, emergency, can you hear me? A light and a rocket homing beam indicator has gone out. Rocket Zoe. The homing beam. It's it's cut out. Toto, I know, I know, I'm trying to reactivate it. Jamie, what, what's gone wrong? I thought you said it was infallible. Toto, well, the solar power source must have been drained, Jamie. Jamie, you said we'd, we would have trouble if we, if that doesn't work. Toto, yes, without that beam, it's impossible to land safely. Jamie, what you mean we'll crash? Zoe? Well, either that, or drift on endlessly through space.